I live in this arid land, a rich place by its nature. This is where I was born, giving thanks to the Creator. I feel so warm in the sun. The sunshine feels much stronger. And the rain that's yet to come, my folks can't wait much longer. My people is courageous. They have great strength in their hands. Everyone lives off the land and knows how to care for the plants. I see folks getting along and they are all caregiving. Always looking for new ways to find water for the living. I also see brave people planning to move far away. Leading their family out there in hopes of a better day. Looking for prosperity. Dreaming of a better story. They all desire such a thing here in the backgrounds with glory. Since I was a little girl, I have missed my parents. They left me to travel to a place with many merits. My turn has finally arrived. I'm going to say goodbye and leave with my grandfather to a place with water supply. I really want to see the place where the sun rises, to live a great adventure, to find all of this land's prizes.
My grandpa is feeling pain, but I know he will get well. With those special leaves that I've gotten, afflictions will be repelled. Femina was so serious. I never saw her like that. She lit many candles to send away any threat. She finally talked to me. I wasn't ready for that. Chiyang doesn't need any more tea. His old heart didn't last. I couldn't believe what I saw. Tiang was laid down in a bed. How can I deal with this truth? Being alone, feeling so sad. Fihmina held me close. She hugged me very warmly. She told me to be strong and find wisdom to choose wisely. With my sagacious grandpa, I've learned to survive. But I can't go alone. It is so tricky to thrive. Now Priest Olavo is here to attend Tiang's burial. In the end, Fihmina called me. She had something unusual. <laughs> 